bearer of the... Seek souls. Seek the king. That is the only way. Lest this land swallow you whole, as it has so many others. Bearer of the curse, lest this land You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement, a place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden, and like you, I lost everything, and now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk this earth, that's the real curse, right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. There are four beings in this land with giant souls. And wherever you go from here, You'll sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. Like I have. <laughs> Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You'll face invaders from other worlds at every turn. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? 
When you face danger, the blue sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. That is a wise decision. People are weak, but the blue sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. Let the sentinels cradle you in their embrace. Do you feel lonely here? It suits me just fine as I've nothing left anyway. It will grow on you, this place. Give it some time. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the giants. There was once a great fort, but little of it remains. You may just find something there that will be of use on your journey. But don't venture too far inside, or you might not come back. Hade's Tower of Flame lies beyond the far gate. In the cathedral, the Apostles of Blue gather. But the road leading there is perilous. In a rush, are we? Life is a journey. Hade's Tower of Flame lies beyond the far gate. In the cathedral, the Apostles of Blue gather. But the road leading there is perilous. The gate is rigged with some contraption. But how it works, I just don't know. Have you seen that pit, that gaping hole in the earth? I don't know what it's like down below, but I wouldn't suggest trying to find out. Besides, you'll never make it down there, not without a ladder of some sort. The flame you see there is a bonfire. They exist all across the land, beacons to we undead. If you are tired, try resting beside the flame. The flame heals us. Long ago, a woman called a fire keeper watched over each bonfire. She kept the flame lit and guarded it from those who would extinguish it. I wonder where the firekeepers went. Did you notice any letters on the ground on the way here? These are messages that have jumped the fissures between worlds. In Trang Lake, the flow of time is convoluted. Things shift and waver, twist and turn. Poignant wishes, dashed dreams, the messages convey our very inner thoughts. If your will to soldier on falters, try leaving a message. Somebody out there is sure to listen. You may notice symbols that appear upon the ground. These are summon signatures. 
They call upon spirits from other worlds through the schisms in time. If you fear hollows, find summon signatures to call upon spirits to help you. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the... Undead, are we? And one without much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> well, suit yourself. Oh yes, you may call me Shalqua. Enchante. So, what did you want anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. This place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> this place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. Folk like yourself. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> Are you going to see the old ones? Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake, no one even knows their names anymore. Imagine that. <laughs> yes, nothing like yourself. For well, you have a most pleasant scent that grows nicer with each passing day. <laughs> Have you made friends with the man by the sea? He's lost everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> the only thing he's good for now is a few tidbits on covenants. Covenants are a type of, well, contract you might say. You give something to gain something. That's the way humans like it, right? It might be just the thing you need. But what does a cat know? <laughs> Did you see that oddly formed rock behind here? 
Long ago they called it Victor Stone, as I recall. If you wish to face greater challenges, speak to the rock. Although, you'd just as well not. <laughs> This place is already dead. Everything will cry. Isn't it wonderful? Nothing suited you, I presume? Well, that's dismaying. <laughs>